Hello and welcome to Complete Games with me, James. Hope you guys are all doing well. And we're back with another episode of Complete Subnautica. Previously, we found the other island and we managed to find some diamonds, but the rescue attempt was a failure. We can now, however, craft ourselves the laser cutter and we should probably craft the compass as well, which we found the blueprints for that in the first episode. So that's going to help us navigate around a little bit better. As you'll see now at the very top underneath the power, we've now got our compass displayed. Let's just get rid of a couple of bits here. And come on laser car, just want you on that slot like so. And if we just get rid of some of the gold, we'll be able to gather some more stuff when we're over there. As you can see, I've been collecting a bit of metal, but I have to put it down outside the pod. I haven't exactly decided where we want to set up on this playthrough. But we're going to have to decide soon. Okay. Have we got any more room in this storage? Nope. I want to carry as little as possible. Okay. Seam off. Aboard, and we've only got 40% power left, so it might be an idea to craft another power cell. So I think we might do that before we set off. Power cell's just at the bottom here. Okay. So what does a power cell take? Oh, we've got a radio message. Let's check that out. Partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated. Mode. Hunting. Analyzing. Sharing subject locations with other agents. Hmm, that doesn't sound friendly. Another agents. Okay. Right, we need a power cell. Ooh, got another message come in. Um, that takes two batteries and some silicon rubber. Okay, we best do that before we get to the Aurora. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, so we've got another pod to check out, Life Pod 12. Don't think we've come across that one yet. We probably need a depth module for the Seamoth. I think at the moment we can only drop down to 200 meters. Might be less than that. Alright, let's just grab a couple of sea creep vine clusters. We need to make some silicon rubber and a couple of batteries. So, I'll need some mushrooms as well. Two mushrooms for each battery and some copper. Which I should have in one of these storage boxes. Nope. This is why we're getting to the point we need to set up a base. Uh, gold. It's not copper. Ah, oh, there we go. Just swap that diamond round. Can leave that here. Okay. So we need two batteries. And silicon rubber being the basic materials. And a power cell. Until we can find a way of charging our equipment, we're just going to have to keep crafting four. batteries. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us. I don't know how long we're going to last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Okay, well, we're, we're heading over to the Aurora, so we'll keep an eye out for Life Pod 4. We know it's roughly in that direction, but we haven't got a precise location. 
Okay, so change that round. And can I get rid of any other equipment I'm carrying? Nope. Um, well, this creep vine takes up four slots, so I think we can just drop that on the floor outside. And just eat this peeper. It's rotten anyway. Okay. I think we've got everything we need. Let's head over to the Aurora. And straight in this direction. I'll see you when we get there. Okay. Can't quite figure out how to get up the top here, but there's definitely some big fish here. You can hear them. The Leviathans. So I'm just going to obviously avoid it or avoid them. Yeah, it's quite dark and I can't figure out how to get up into the Aurora. I know it's just up here. What are you? Hmm. Something communicating with us telepathically there. Okay. I know it's over in this corner, but I think I need to get underneath this platform. I can even hear the crabs, so there I am quite close. Yeah, just under here, if I can get under here, perhaps. Is this it? Ah, this is looking like where we can get up. Here we are. Bring a fire extinguisher with us. Of course, we got the laser cutters now. Primarily, what we want to do is we want to shut off the reactor, stop that radiation leak. Also, might be able to find the prawn suit and a depth module to make the Seamoth dive a little bit deeper. <gasps> Things come and attack you, and then they run away. Okay. We're finding plenty of water. Show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. Oh, nice. Okay. There it is, straight up this way. So we did bring an extra fire extinguisher with us. There's one there as well, so we've got a couple of fire extinguishers. Stupid crabs. Uh, stick one of them on our hot bar. There we go. step into the fire. Okay, let's head over to the administration area first. Um, don't really need to put that bit out. Oh. Oh. Try and conserve as much of the fire extinguisher as I can. Without burning myself. <laughs> Almost died then. Okay. To get my scanner. Can't see anything on the table. So it's a poster. We'll take the poster. Data terminal download. Okay. Integrating new PDA data. No. Can't see anything sat on the table. Okay. Oh! Data terminal here. Hold 
propulsion cannon fragment. We've already got the propulsion cannon. Aurora systems are running on local reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. Okay, so it's password protected. Just check through our data. Okay, 1454. Okay. We can get a bit deeper. Just keeping a lookout for any of the things that we can scan. Graph profile. PDA data. I'll check the PDAs out later. Anything up the back here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's go down. I think we've got plenty of water. I don't know if we need it all. We can drop it if we end up carrying too much. Okay, so seam off. Drive room is that direction. Um, seam off was behind us. Okay. Need the laser cut to get through this door. Um. Oh, that's the repair tool. The laser cutter. That's why, there we go. Okay. for any PDAs. It's a little bit difficult to see actually. I'll get my sea glide out. It's got a torch on it. I need to craft the torch. I tend not to bother though as we got the sea glide, but can't see anything there. Aha. Auxiliary mission orders. Okay. Use the repair tool on that. Get that back out. Okay. There we go. Picking up a faint black box signature originating on the other side of the hump reach in this room. to practice my firefighting skills, that's for sure. Okay, here we go. We've got a prawn suit. So that's one of four. I can see a couple more hanging up here. Just got a radio signal coming as well. Not much we can do about that at the moment. Three of four. See anything laying under here? No. Oh, fire extinguisher. We might need it. Huh? 
probably jump over there. Can I scan this last one? It's right at the back of the fire here. Okay, so that's the prawn suit. We can build that now. It's another way to get around. And it can drop a lot deeper than the seam off as well. Okay. Let's put out some of this fire and we can jump over here. I'll try to. Living quarters back here. Just check around this side. Yeah, we could have actually jumped over this side. It might have been a bit easier. Less fire on that side. So, looks like the calf. So, be Aussie's calf. See my scan indicators coming up there. Something to scan. I think it's the table. Oh, and a shelf, maybe. Integrating new PDA data. Grab that fire extinguisher. Okay. Found another one just in time. table. Acquired. Single wall shelf, okay. Well, may as well have it. And the counter. Yeah, I don't think I'm missing anything else. I can't scan this machine, can I? Nope. Right. Yeah, definitely can't get anything out of that. Okay. Uh, more rations. We'll take them. Actually, I'm running a little bit low on food. food and drink in there. Should probably stop picking these waters up actually, I don't really need them. Okay, can't get through that one. Um, let's try down here first. Okay, so I can get a bed. Okay, may as well take it. Something to sleep on. New blueprint acquired. Have a poster. I can't see anything. We'll grab a bag. Uh, I don't need two. They only hold four slots of storage. Not sure if I've got the data to be able to get into this room. Let's just check. Uh, notes to self. So that was to open the cargo bay code. Uh, got lots of new data to look at. If it in Degasi survivors, so 
Yeah, it would look like the Aurora knew about the Degasi. And I guess we'll check this out. I'll read this a little bit later, but there's more information on the Degasi. It was almost a decade ago that they were sent here, so 10 years, okay. Right, let's check out the Seamoth Bay. Couldn't find any more information on how to get into them cabins. We couldn't get into the captain's quarters either. But hopefully, we can find the first depth module in here. Okay. Integrating new PDA data. VR seat log. And there's the seam off depth module. Fragment. Can't see anything else in here, but that's what we needed. Okay. All right, let's get through to the drive room, the drive see if we can stop leak. this radiation leak. Well, nonetheless, we'll attempt it. Okay, Cyclops energy efficient module. At maximum tolerable level. New blueprint acquired. Just repair the drive core. Further breaches detected. Okay, so that was one of ten. Containment breach repaired. Okay, nine more to go then. Okay, that's the last one. We should have fixed the leak. Just gonna scan this bleeder. Keeps on trying to grab you. <laughs> okay. It's stuck on me again. Just whack him off. Okay. Right, let's get out of here. We've discovered as much as we can. We couldn't get into the captain's quarters, but we have got the depth module for the Seamoth. Okay, if I can just find the Seamoth upgrade slot. Just here. Okay, so we managed to get the storage module as well as the depth module, so now we can drop to a depth of 300 meters which is great and uh, we also discovered that the Aurora was on a secret mission to bypass planet 4645b as 10 years ago it turns out that the Degasi crashed here so en route they wanted to send out an investigation well we know what happened to the Degasi and the Aurora and now the Sunbeam being shot down so, it explains a little bit about how we ended up here in the first place. At least now I've got some storage, I can stick these batteries away. And in the next episode, when we do set up base, at least I've got some way of helping me transport some of this stuff from LifePod 5 to where we'll need to be. Not 100% sure which biome I'm going to set up in on this playthrough, but uh, between now and next week we'll have a think about it. We've decided that we're going to keep Subnauticas to complete Subnautica Sundays. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying the series so far. Until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and we'll see ya.